Hi guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my little kitchen. Today's recipe is all about the courgette. Now, courgettes are known as zucchini. They're also known as toringa in Punjabi and in Urdu, they're known as tori ki sabzi. So this is actually a great way of cooking courgettes if you're not a fan of them, of just sort of like eating them with a bit of salt and pepper on. Turn them into a curry. These are wonderful and I'm sure the kids are going to love this because mine do. So before I run through the ingredients and how to make this fantastic courgette curry, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your bell notifications on and watch right till the end. So let's start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need is approximately one kg of courgettes. I've peeled them and I've cut them into discs like this, which are roughly one fourth of an inch thick. Now, if you've never used or cooked with courgettes before, just treat them like cucumbers and just slice them up um, just as you would with a cucumber. Um, I've got here two medium um, onions, which I've just popped into my food processor and I've blitzed them quite finely. These weigh approximately 500 grams in weight. I've got here three fresh tomatoes, which I've roughly chopped up. This weighs 250 grams, just for you guys so you know. I've got here half a cup of oil and I have the following spices. I've got half a tablespoon of salt. I've got two teaspoons of coriander powder and the gimich, which is the Kashmiri chili powder, which has a really nice flavor, but not the heat. I've got here one teaspoon of red chili powder and I've got dried chili flakes here. Now I've also got here some whole spices. I've got one cinnamon stick, roughly the size of my thumb, two bay leaves, and one black cardamom pod. I've got half a tablespoon of homemade garam masala. If you don't know how to make this, I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys. I've got here one uh, frozen cube of ginger and garlic. If you don't have this, you can use one tablespoon of the paste or puree. And I've got three green chilies here, which I've sliced halfway up. Now these are optional, you don't need to add these in, but they do add a really nice flavor to the dish when it's cooked. And I've also got fresh coriander to garnish right at the end. And we also have water to hand to use as and when we need to. So let's start cooking. Right, okay, so first of all, get yourself a pan and then get it nice and hot. My hob setting is currently on an eight, which is a high heat setting. And I'm gonna add my oil straight in and just give that a few sort of like minutes just to heat up. And once the oil's heated up, I'm going to turn my hob settings down to a six, which is a low to medium heat setting. And I'm going to add my whole spices in. And then I'm going to throw in my onions and we're going to fry them for about six to eight minutes until they're nice and golden brown in color. And I'll show you how they look once they're done. Right, okay guys, so my onions are nicely browned and to this I'm going to add in my tomatoes, my ginger and garlic and my whole spice, sorry not my whole spices, my spices and just give that a mix and guess what? I've actually forgotten the haldi which is the turmeric. Oh my god, I can't believe I've just done this. Right, okay. So straight in, <laughs> let me just find a spoon, is one teaspoon of turmeric, guys. So sorry about that. I thought I couldn't find that colour when I added that in. So right, back to this again now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of water into this just to help it sort of like cook down. And my heat setting is still on a six, which is a low to medium heat setting. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop the lid on and we're gonna allow this to cook away for about eight to 10 minutes until the tomatoes are really nice and soft and all those spices have infused that masala. Keep coming back to it, do keep an eye on it. Uh, give it the odd stir here and there. And after about eight to 10 minutes, I'll show you how it looks. It should be really nice and soft and the oil should be starting to separate and come to the um, the surface and around the edges. So I'll see you guys back around eight, eight to 10 minutes time. Right, okay guys, so this has had 10 minutes of cooking time and I'm just gonna remove the lid to show you. And you can see that the oil has started to separate and come to the surface and I've not added any water into this apart from what we added at the very beginning. So this is now ready 
for the courgettes so I'm going to just add them straight in just like that and just give them a mix just make sure that masala coats all the nice courgettes I just turned my heat settings down slightly because the camera kept steaming over so once you've mixed them up really nicely like that just separate them as well because you've got some stuck to each other I'm going to turn my heat setting back up to a six which is a low to medium heat setting I'm going to pop the lid on and I'm going to leave the lid on and I'm going to let that cook away for five minutes you don't need to do anything to that um, it'll just give that five minutes will give that uh, curry the courgette curry time to sort of like soften up and um, once the five minute timer is up I'll come back and I'll show you how it looks and then we'll um, proceed to the next stage of the recipe right okay so it's been five minutes that the uh, courgettes have been cooking away with the lid on so just to show you guys now and we're just going to move them around And now what we're going to do is we're going to start the boning process which basically is sort of like the dry frying um, which will sort of like bring all of the flavors together so all the masala the spices and the courgettes obviously will be cooked down really nicely so heat setting is still on a six and what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to cook this for around 10 to 12 minutes without the lid on at the moment you can see that it's cooking away really nicely it doesn't need any water in this and you know after 12 minutes I'll show you how this looks right okay guys so the courgettes have had 12 minutes of cooking now and you can see that they're softening up really really nicely now at this stage I'm going to throw in my green chilies and I'm going to cook them for a further five minutes I've not changed my heat settings at all they're still the same so I'll see you guys back in about five minutes time right okay so after five minutes all we're gonna do is we're gonna lower our heat setting down to a four which is a low heat setting pop the lid on and just give that around six to eight minutes of just steaming so I'm just gonna put it on dumb now for about six to eight minutes and don't need to do anything to it just leave it and I'll show you how it looks once it's done when we'll actually finish the dish off so see you guys back in approximately six to eight minutes time right okay guys so coming back to this this has been undone for about eight minutes so now we are ready to finish the dish off so straight over with the garam masala first of all just like that and then the fresh coriander on top and we're just going to give that a mix through just to combine the garam masala into this wonderful wonderful curry oh it smells absolutely gorgeous and there you have it guys my wonderful courgette curry all ready for you so let me plate this up and show you guys exactly how it is so there we have it guys my wonderful courgette curry or doringa as my mother would say and i'm gonna tuck into this now and tell you guys exactly how it is oh I could just no oh, smell it. it was so amazing the aroma coming off it but here it goes mmm that is absolutely gorgeous oh it's got a nice heat to it oh absolutely beautiful mmm gorgeous gorgeous curry spices are spot on slightly spicy but because it's a bland vegetable you actually want a little bit of spice coming through obviously add it according to your personal preference guys that's entirely up to you leaving you with this wonderful curry i hope you've enjoyed watching the video if you found it helpful please do give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you soon with another one till then take care and happy eating